over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. The commute in full swing as we get set for basketball here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. And on tap tonight, it's the Golden State Warriors going up against the Toronto Raptors. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, for a team that has the unbridled ambition of the Golden State Warriors, moving to San Francisco is fitting. A city whose fortunes have risen astronomically in this era of new technology. Now in Oakland, the Warriors were comfortable and successful in an arena that they had played in since the late 60s. But for a franchise that aspires to be light years ahead of the competition, moving to a billion-dollar stadium seemed obvious. Kevin? Oakland has been a wonderful home for the Warriors, but we know San Francisco will be too. Thanks, D.A. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Lowry. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. Here are the five for the Raptors. Van Vliet and Lowry are the one and the two. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. And it's Gasol in at the five. And for Golden State, Green down low with Looney. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. And it's Wiggins in at the three spot. Brandon, looking ahead to the playoffs, when you made your first postseason appearance, were you surprised by the intensity you found once you got there? Kevin, it was my second season. I was playing for the Clippers, so getting into the playoffs was quite miraculous on its own accord sure. for the organization. Uh, but the level of detail in the playoffs and intensity in the playoffs, they, they know everything that you're going to do. And we were playing against the Utah Jazz, which at that time... Some pretty good players. Yes, Carl yeah. Malone, John Stockton, <laughs> Jeff Hornacek, the great Jerry Sloan as a head coach. It was a wonderful experience, but you understood that the playoffs were different. Absolutely something different in terms of uh, the intensity and what it is that that team knew about you. And he knows how to make good use of his size in that low block. And Gasol's inside game is very refined. There's a, there's a smoothness to how he approaches it. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Van Vliet. 14 points from him the last game against the Suns in Phoenix. And here we go. Wiggins heading to the hoop. And it's Gasol with the rebound. The drive by Lowry. Yep, that one goes in there. And what a take from Lowry. Using that quickness to just blaze to the rim. We play just over a minute here in the first. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Yeah, and you hate to lose the kind of game where it just seems like it gets away from you. They played good basketball for most of it, but then just collapse and open that door for the comeback. Green against Siakam. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Bit of a picture-perfect start here to this game. They've connected on all three looks. The Warriors have gone just one of four to get this game started. Thompson outside for three. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Yeah, that's just working for the better shot. We always talk about in the NBA, good to great, great possession there. Lowry against Thompson. Lowry passes to Van Vliet. Back to Lowry. Great G that time from Green. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. The Warriors have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Curry passes to Looney. Wiggins right side. Back to Looney. Three-pointer. No good. 
and Toronto will come the other way. Last game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. And if you had to point to one problem in that game, it, it was their rebounding. Flat out terrible. I think you can be a little bit rattled when you lose the physical battle as badly as they did in that game. That can be tough to shake off. So it's a, a matter of getting over those doubts and finding yourself again. And here is Van Vliet after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Now here's Van Vliet. He's guarded closely. Lowry for three. The Warriors pull it in. This, their first look at this year's Toronto squad. And going up against the team that broke their hearts a season ago in the finals. Now here's Wiggins. 20 points for him last game against Denver. Nice shot by Thompson. Now just such efficient form there from Clay Thompson. The height, the release, great rotation, and a soft touch. Van Vliet looking around. Outside Lowry. Gasol inside. Looney on him. Oh, and here comes Curry all alone. The shot comes out, and it's the Raptors taking it the other way. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Here's Lowry. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Is it getting cold in here, Kevin? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Curry can't get it to go. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Gasol against Curry. And Gasol gets it to go. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Two seasons at Indiana for OG Ananobi. And the 23rd pick of the 2017 draft. Greg, talk about his game. You know, NBA ready physically from day one. You know, still working for consistency with his shooting, especially at the free throw line. But I like his potential as a two-way player. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. The pass to Looney. Outside Curry. Siakam against Green. Five to shoot. Wide open. Gasol with the rebound. For Toronto, they've gone five of nine from the field here in the first. The drive by Siakam. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the most improved player in the league last season, Pascal Siakam, got better in every statistical category. And it's those diamond in the rough players that so often elevate the top teams. And, Greg, that's what the Raptors found in Pascal Siakam. No doubt. The 27th pick back in 2016, now a full-time starter on a rookie contract, just over two mil this season. He is due for a big raise. That one drops. He ties it up. the free throw drops for him of the Raptors Nick Nurse winning an NBA title in his first season Greg is an NBA head coach the first time a head coach who'd also helmed a team in a foreign league has won it Nurse often reminisces fondly on those days coaching in Europe and this summer he was entrusted with coaching the Canadian national team at the FIBA World Cup and doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Here's Wiggins. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Here's Curry with the three. Siakam pulls it in. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that, Kevin. That's a bad miscue. 
and you can't give up looks like that all game long. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Raptors with the lead. Outside Lowry. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Gasol. Over Curry. A nice shot by Gasol. Gasol's got six. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Thompson with it. He had 27 points last game. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. Passes it to Green. He dishes it to Curry. No good, unable to end this run. Well, that mid-range, Jay, usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And, Kevin, that's a pretty dangerous play right there. I mean, I don't like to see a player put an opponent in harm's way. As much as you just saw him do there, glad they pinned a, a flagrant on him. Yeah, you're right, Greg. The officials were all over it. They weren't going to let him off the hook that time. And the first one drops. Player development, not just a coach's job, Brent. Something you're active in right now. And, uh, you know, there are some players who are playing career who are terrific mentors and teachers on teams. Uh, there's no, no doubt about it that there are guys, I think about first what Vince Carter has provided to the teams he's been around in the past couple seasons. Zach Randolph, to some degree, was doing that as he moved from Memphis to Sacramento. Um, but there are guys who are still players and that are on the floor contributing and doing big things like Chris Paul and Mike Conley uh, that are such huge attributes to an organization when they start to introduce the changeover in their roster or the next phase of their team. you got to give a lot of kudos and appreciate the fact that players who've been that great for that long accept and, and willingly accept, Kevin, the role of, of teaching young guys and paying it forward. And role players that have been like, like Calderon and Haslam who have not been stars but have been important parts of their organization. Also can... tremendous examples of what it means to be a professional day in and day out. If your responsibilities aren't as great as the top four or five players, there's still things you can do to make your team better on a daily basis. Those are two great names, Kevin. Here's Powell after the made shot from Clay Thompson. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Now here is Ibaka. Low block shot on the way. Siakam. It's good on the putback. And the Raptors lead by nine. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin. Particularly here to start the game. Curry against Thomas. From deep three-point range. And that's good. Steph Curry for three. Well, that's one of the game's greatest three-point shooters, so don't be shocked. Powell against Thompson. And here is Powell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Cloak loose. Warriors trail by six. On the wing, Thompson. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Ibaka. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Taking a look at Portland, they're still holding tough in that fifth position, still trying to climb the ladder. And I think for the Raptors, they just seem to be playing uninspired ball. That's just keeping it real. They've seen other teams leapfrog them in the rankings, and it's gotten into their collective psyche. Here's Thompson, 11 feet out, and he hits it. And now it's just a four-point Raptor lead. Now that basket must be widening out right now, Kevin. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Thomas passes to Ibaka. Raptors moving the ball around. Here's Siakam. That one doesn't go. Wiggins with some nice D. Let's it go from deep. They get a hand on it. And close to making the defense pay 
for the lax coverage that time. Siakam passes to a buck. The nine-foot shot. And he overshot that one, missing. And he's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. And the Warriors making a change here. Toronto leading by four. Siakam finds Hollis Jefferson. Here's Bowman. And the Warriors miss again. Here's Toronto. They're on a 16-7 run. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. Outside curve. Off target from outside. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And Siakam throws it down. And there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Warriors trail by eight. Curry looking around. Now the pass to Poole. Kicks to Curry. From deep. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Oof, rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. And Siakam throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Bowman, guarded by Powell. Bowman passes to Pasco. Just five on the clock. He hits it from nine. The defense just too soft on that possession. You have to be closer and contest at the rim. Now here's Paul. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to Siakam. Over Chris. Siakam misses. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. And the basket is good. Curry's got 11. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Pass to Siakam. Back to Thomas. It's Powell on the wing. That three off the mark. He didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And it's Marquise Chris with the foul. Go the other way. That's his first foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Raptors leading by six. Outside Thomas. Pass to Powell. For the three. Sinks the three-pointer. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Bowman is guarded by Johnson. The pass to Kerr. Here's Poole. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And so it's Toronto in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. So much talent on this Warriors team. Draymond Green talks about how it all meshes together. The way I judge, you know, whether we can play together or not is on the defensive end. I never really judge on the offensive end. It's about picking each other up on the defensive end and all being on the stream. You know, Greg, defense is Draymond's specialty, no question about it. And it all starts on that end. The Warriors feel like if they take care of business at that end, the offense will take care of itself. 
And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. What do you guys think about the Raptors here in this one? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. So for Toronto right now, Norman Powell is out there with Thomas. Then it's Johnson, and it's Ibaka, and it's Hollis Jefferson in at the small four. There's a lot of talk, Brent, about eliminating division, something that's been discussed. Do you ever think that's going to happen? I, I don't understand what the divisions are. Do you? Well, I mean, no. I, we don't pay attention to the divisions. We don't pay any attention to the divisions. It's all about conference. And we know that uh, divisions end up helping with, in some ways with uh, the playoff seedings, but it just seems strange today to have the divisions the way they are divided up. I think it helps when you're opening up a fish wrap in the morning if you check <laughs> if you check a traditional newspaper. But otherwise, uh, that could be something that, that goes away soon. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Now Thomas, he's still scoreless so far in this one. Left side of Baca. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. They host the 76ers after this game. That'll be the second of four games at home for him. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Well, Kevin, Kyle Lowry is hard-nosed, as we all know, and if you ask him, it comes from his upbringing in Philadelphia. Lowry said, a Philly player is what a basketball player is. We played on concrete. you got to be mentally tough. You're not trying to be athletic. You get hit the wrong way, you run into a metal pole. Kevin, that's what made him. From Philly to Villanova to Toronto, to an NBA champion. I don't know about running into the metal pole, but that sounds that sounds painful. But he's certainly as tough as he can be. David, thank you. That one misses, and the Warriors making a change here. Green's checked in. Then for the Raptors, Marcus Gasol's checked in for Ibaka. Kyle Lowry comes in for Norman Powell, and it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thomas. He hits the second from the line. Warriors trail by eight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Outside Curry. Rocket six. Shot on the wing. And that one hits back iron. Ah, uh, you love basketball. Couldn't miss in the first quarter. Now can't make it in the second quarter. Got to be eating at him just a bit. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Yeah, that's not an assignment that I want there, Kevin. I'd rather do math homework than to try and cover that guy. Now here's Van Vliet. He's tightly guarded. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. A three-pointer, no good. The Warriors trailing. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Smile a geech. He's guarded by Johnson. It's Curry outside. Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got six rebounds now in the game. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And let's quickly jump to the 2K leaderboard to find out which point guards have been the highest scorers over the last month. Fifth is Steph Curry. And this is a group of guys who have that uncanny knack to simply score. 
and, and put points up while they find ways to get the rest of the team involved. Really the complete package. Well, he is the modern point guard defined. Players who aren't just out there to direct traffic and keep the ball moving, but guys who can be the entire offense at times by themselves. Just tremendous scores. Van Vliet with the bucket. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And the Warriors miss again. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And Johnson looking determined there to score. Whether or not he got fouled didn't matter. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Wiggins is checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Steph Curry. And the Raptors also making a change. Ananobi's checked in. Stanley Johnson, again, looking for elusive consistency to his game. If he can shoot it at a steady rate, he'll find a home. Here's Van Vliet, and that one is good. Van Vliet's got five points now in the quarter. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Warriors trail by 16. And only six feet tall in shoes. Fred Van Vliet's not the biggest, but his toughness for him, his toughness mentally and physically is unquestioned. And Kevin, growing up in Rockford, Illinois, gave him that perspective. Friends and family gone too soon. Basketball is the path to something better. For Toronto, they have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. First one falls. And the potential Ananobi has is exciting. Has the athleticism, the shooting touch, and the drive to keep improving. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. No good on the second free throw. Warriors trail by 17. Passes it to Bowman. Back to Thompson. To halt the run. Good work defensively by Lowry. I'm not sure where the lack of focus comes in there, Kevin. That's not like him. The defense is close, but there's enough space to score. And here's Green outside. The offensive rebound. Here's Looney, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And, and that's a great play on the backboard for him. I mean, it's what we expect. All his second chance points do not come by accident. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And, of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. One shot. And that one misses. Of course, uh, Dirk Nowitzki spent his whole career with the Dallas Mavericks. We don't see that much anymore, do we, from the beginning to the end with one team? No, but I think we're going to still uh, occasionally have anomalies like we did with, with Reggie being in Indiana yes. uh, for the years of his playing career. Nate McMillan was in Seattle for his playing career, now coach of the Indiana Pacers. So there will be times where we'll have that once or twice. It's not going to happen very much, Kevin. Not, not in today's, not in today's NBA. game and today's not sports. with what's at stake. Oh, 
And that one falls for Johnson. Warriors trail by 18. Bowman, while recovering. Pick up it, pick up it. Got a piece of it. Shot clock at six. Out to the right wing. Here's Looney. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Looney's got his second basket. Man, we see this so many times. The defense so concerned with Clay Thompson's shooting ability that he's able to burn them with moving the ball. Here's on an open. 11 points for him in that last game against Phoenix. Here's Lowry. The layup missed. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. Wiggins. And Wiggins throws it down. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now here's Van Vliet. Seven points in the game. Lowry passes to Gasol. And again, no good by Toronto. How about the timing? He shows there to challenge that shot. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Here's Wiggins. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. The eight-footer just doesn't seem to have it here in the second quarter. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Here's Hananobi. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. He's off on the first. Chris, he's checked in for Green. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. sinks the second. Warriors trail by 15. Bowman covered by Van Vliet. Last break. Here come the Raptors. Here's Siakam. Outside for Lowry. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And, and a moment here to check out the stats for Siakam. He's getting around 20 points per, 8 rebounds, and 2 assists. And he's been a rock in the middle for them over that stretch of games. Dominating the glass is his trademark. I feel like those rebounds are wearing down and eroding the opponent. His effort right now physically and mentally has been good. Bowman covered by Van Vliet. Bowman passes to Looney. And here's Thompson. Yeah, and he plays a lot bigger than that six-foot frame would suggest. Lowry is just a bundle of energy out there. Get there, get there. Pass to Gasol. Back to Ananobi. Deflects the pass. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Warriors trail by 15. Wiggins surveying the floor. They get a bet. A second chance effort. Looney kicks to Wiggins. Lowry against Thompson. And there's the pass to Chris. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. 
Raptors leading by 15. The drive by Siakam. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The Raptors have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. And the first one at the line is good. Some changes for Toronto. Baca comes in for Marc Gasol. And Thomas subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And so he makes both from the line. Warriors trail by 17. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. On defense, the Raptors. Pass to Thompson. Four on the shot clock. That's tipped. It's stolen by Lowry. Here's Ananobi. He's covered by Thompson. Ananobi, good. Ananobi's got four points this quarter. And, and how about Ananobi using all that momentum to finish past the defense? Refused to be denied. Warriors shooting around 29% from the floor. Tough night for them all around on the offensive end. Bowman passes to Wiggins. He kicks it to Thompson. To end the drought. And he can't bank that one in. Raptors leading by 19 points. And Lowry has it in the corner. The three. Here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. That's what he gives you, a big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. And so here is Golden State after the Raptors pick up two. Wiggins outside. Five on the clock. Tries it from the top of the key, and the shot falls short this time. Well, his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Abaka's got six rebounds now in the game. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, after five years as an assistant in Toronto last season, Nick Nurse moved to head coach of the Raptors, and the team responded, winning the franchise's first NBA championship. Nurse has been at this for three decades. He got his first head coaching position at the age of 23, and he has moved all throughout basketball, both domestically and abroad, guiding 15 teams in five different countries. And after winning it all last year, Kevin, he's finally made it to the top. David, he sure has a long and winding journey. Thank you. And the basket by Lowry. Lowry's got seven points. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. Kind of get a team defensively on their heels. And if you can keep pushing and keep attacking, they'd never find some kind of defensive balance to help slow you down. Timeout called the Warriors. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. And Toronto making a change here. Powell's checked in. 
Now here's Curry. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Nuggets in Denver. And guys, in addition to that scoring, he was absolutely tenacious on the defensive end. A complete two-way game for him. Finished with three steals, I think, and that was a difference maker. Outside for Thomas. Passes it to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. And now Curry running the floor all by himself. Good job getting the ball and completing that play. The defense producing easy looks. It just helps you conserve some energy for late in the game. Powell against Thompson. Left side, Lowry. And stolen by Chris. Yeah, take your time. You don't give them another possession. Yeah, hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. The Warriors have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. First free throw is good. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's the Toronto Raptors with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We gotta come out with our energy. We gotta come out and play our game and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The first half was all about Pascal Siakam. He had 21 points and eight rebounds. Some great work from him in the first two quarters. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, it has been an electric performance. These guys were firing on all cylinders. They came out aggressive going after those rebounds and they were piling it up. I think they wanted to send a message with their physicality and they're going to be nearly impossible to stop if they're playing that way. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? They rely way too heavily on three point shot in the first half. Their long range game was off. That's my off sound, Ernie. They were off, but they still settle for the outside shots. They got to put more pressure on the defense by pounding it inside and attacking the basket. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. That's Cal Siakam, guys, really making a difference here. In those first two quarters, he was pretty much an automatic bucket getter if he got it down low on the block. Yeah, we'll see if the double teams start to come here in the second half to make them adjust offensively, but he's going to keep going at them. 
And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Green down low with Looney. And it's Wiggins in at the three, the small forward. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Oh, he's going to get hit with his second flagrant foul of the day, and that's the limit. He's out of the game and on his way to the locker room. I can't believe he wouldn't exercise more control. I mean, knowing he already had one flagrant foul, you can't be that reckless when you're on thin ice like he was. Greg, after his first flagrant, you knew the officials were going to have their eyes on him the rest of the way, and shoot, now shoot. he'll be making the lonely walk, the walk of shame, back to the locker room. They throw good, Siakam. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Here's Ananobi, covered by Wiggins, and the shot will not go from Ananobi. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Pass to Curry. From deep three-point range, Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And, and you know, you see it every day, but it still doesn't make it any less impressive. The amount of skill that Steph Curry has on the floor, the shooting, the passing, the agility, he has it all. You could argue Curry is one of the most skilled players of all time. The shooting alone puts him in the conversation, and very few can match up to just that. Guys like LeBron and Wilt dominate with their size and athleticism, but Curry is an all-time great because of his once-in-a-lifetime skill. That one misses. You think about with everything that's gone on in Clay Thompson's career and the surrounding talent that he's had with him, he still goes out and takes care of his business as a defensive stopper and takes tremendous pride in what he can do offensively. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. There's the pass to Looney. Pass to Curry. Looney kicks to Curry. Thompson outside, pulls it from 20, and again, it's the Warriors missing. Toronto leading by 23. The drive by Siakam, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one on Thompson. Two shots, foul. Elbow, two. And he knocks down the first one. Siakam hits them both. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. Outside Curry. Passes to Looney. Back to Curry. Six to shoot. Wiggins inside the line. And the Warriors miss again. Not sure they realize it's not halftime anymore. Four attempts, and they're still looking for their first bucket. The three-point game such a big part of the NBA. Let's see the best teams at it. The Warriors, fourth. No doubt, they have snipers on that roster, that's for sure. It's been a terrific year for them from beyond the arc. 
Warriors have gone 0 of 4 from the field in the second half, yet to find the mark. Now here's Curry, covered by Van Vliet. Here's Pascal, covered by Siakam. They grab their own miss. And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. The Warriors have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. First one falls. And so he hits both. Raptors leading by 23. To the middle. And Pascal pulls it down. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Now here is Lowry, following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Siakam left side. Outside for Lowry. Down to five on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Looney's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Thompson dishes to Wiggins. Shoots over Van Vliet. Outside for Curry. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Curry's got 16. If you get Steph Curry in catch-and-shoot opportunities, you just have the feeling he's not going to miss. Lowry looking around. Pass to Gasol. Fires for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he did? Oh, the power on that Pruden! Unreal. And, you know, it's one thing to get the offensive rebound, but then how about the loud bucket he's able to convert? He was in perfect position under the hoop, Greg. You're right. Once he gets his hands on the miss. Here's Siakam. Lowry from outside. And no good that time. Good D by Thompson. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. 16-point lead. Outside Lowry. Trying to end the drought. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Thompson. A five-time All-Star. Lowry has come a long way since being drafted 24th overall back in 2006. Johnson, he's checked in for Toronto. Rondé Hollis-Jefferson comes in for OG Ananobi. He makes one of two that time. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're on a 9-1 to one run. And a deep three from Curry. Another three for Golden State. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Raptors leading by 14. Van Vliet with it. Seven points in the game. There's Hollis Jefferson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, easy call. He shot two free throws in the game. Made one and missed one.
That free throw good from Hollis Jefferson. And Toronto making a change here. Powell's checked in. That one is no good. And it's the Warriors ball. It's a 12-2 run here. Good pace. Thompson misses. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Plays it up and banks it in. Howell's got seven. Now catching the lead pass at full speed, terrific anticipation, and the delivery, Kevin, on time, on target. Warriors trail by 17. Outside Curry. Thompson for three. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Johnson's got five rebounds tonight. Now here's Van Vliet, guarded by Kerr. And the pass to Hollis Jefferson. Over Wiggins. Hollis Jefferson, good. And the Raptors lead by 19. And they know for next time, don't let him establish position down low. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's, it's a wrap. And for the Warriors, they're shooting 28%, a rocky, rocky performance for them offensively. Curry from deep three-point land. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Raptors leading by 19. And here is Powell. Seven points in the game. Here's Van Vliet. And Pascal pulls it down. The war is shooting an ugly 27% since halftime. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. We get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. We'll take a look at the Warriors. Right now, the sixth best record in the conference, looking to hold on to playoff position and finish the regular season strong. And seeing where the Warriors are, they've fulfilled a lot of the promise they showed coming into the season but they just haven't taken that next leap forward. So many thought they might. They still had enough players take positive steps forward to call this season a success. Maybe they're not at the top of the standings where they'd hope they'd be, but they're in really good position in terms of the playoff picture. Timeout, timeout. timeout called the Warriors. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat, Greg. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Marc Gasol. He's got to take a look at the steal numbers over the last uh, couple months. The scope of that for Thompson. I feel like he hasn't been paying as much attention to the defensive aspect of the game as he needs to. His steals have dropped over the past few months, and he needs to get back some of that fire on D. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Curry on the wing. It's deflected. Stolen by Van Vliet. Powell, the pass to Van Vliet. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Van Vliet's got nine. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. Outside Curry. Shot to stop the run, and it's blocked by Ibaka. And, well, he's been the NBA's leader in blocks multiple times. Ibaka just has that rare instinct for it. The Warriors shooting 27%. The offense is just embarrassing themselves. Count it good. Raptors leading by 22. Pass to Powell. Back to Van Vliet. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. Wiggins with some nice deep. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Curry on the wing. Covered by Van Vliet. Knocked loose. Five on the clock. The shot by Curry. No good. 
And Zoe Baca will bring it up for the Raptors. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Johnson, it's deflected, and that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Now here's Powell. Defense right on him. Clock at four. Johnson finds Van Vliet. And again, Toronto no luck. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And, and checking out some numbers for Andrew Wiggins. Some nice work from him over the last 10 games. Averaging 17 points per game, five rebounds, and four assists. And you look at the numbers he's been putting up. Fantastic scoring production from him. Yeah, hard to ask for anything more at this point. He's really stepped up, and he's really delivered. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Now here's Van Vliet. He's got nine. Pass to Hollis Jefferson. Now here's Powell. D right on him. Snatched away. Here's Bowman. No good on the three. Raptors leading by 20. Now that one from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got four points in the quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. The war is shooting terrible so far in the second half, down around 26%. Pass to Wiggins. Knocked away. Just five to shoot. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. Ibaka's got 11 rebounds in the game. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. The Warriors shooting only 27% from the field, looking pretty ugly out there. The pass to Chris. That one falls. Now, Marquise Chris, you got to remember, 240 pounds, so scoring through contact is possible. Toronto's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Pass to Powell. Here's Hollis Jefferson. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. He can't get it to go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Here's Poole. From outside, off the mark. And here's Toronto. They're on a 14-6 run. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First one falls for him. Siakam is checked in for Toronto. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. This Warriors squad struggling. Chris passed to Poole. One nineteen left in the third quarter. Here's Wiggins, and he banks in the layup. Wiggins has got his third basket of the night right there. Now he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Now here's Van Vliet. He's tightly guarded, and Siakam throws it down. 
that's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. 59 seconds left in the third. Bowman covered by Van Vliet. Here's Chris. No good with the triple. Toronto shooting around 40% in the third. Maybe settling for some less than ideal looks out there. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. No good on the free throw. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. And the Raptors also making a change. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. And he's good on the second. The Warriors shooting the ball poorly, just 28%. Tipped away and stolen by Kyle Lowry. He lobs up the alley-oop pass. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that a, one, Kevin. A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Five to shoot. From deep. Second shot opportunity. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Toronto Raptors rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. It seems like nothing they do can go wrong as they string together one successful possession after another and are simply running away with this one. And we'll be right back after this. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Setting the floor for the Raptors. Thomas is out there with McCall. Then it's Pascal Siakam. And it's Hernandez in at the center position. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. There are many players now signing shorter contracts and free agency. You've talked about this a lot. Does it make it harder or easier for the super team? Well, I think it, it makes it easier because all of a sudden a, a star player from another team becomes available that you could latch him on to somewhere else. Any examples that, you could throw out there? That, that I don't want to get into the specifics. Okay, of it. I, I, I understand. I think I understand. we've <laughs> seen it over the past three or four years uh, with some of our star guys. And yes. I, don't, I don't fault them because they're getting smarter. Players are a lot smarter about what it is that they can do with having the very few times, Kevin, that you have a say in your career as to where it is that you're going to play and more importantly, the potential for what it is that financially playing you can four, make. But, and playing for a championship. For a championship, for potentially the opportunity to play with somebody who you've always thought you could either elevate their play or they could elevate yours. This is not going away anytime soon. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. They're doing well overall, but the turnovers have been the exception. On the wing, Lee. It's stolen. The drive by Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. The Warriors shooting a terrible 27% from the floor. Boy, an off night for them, to say the least. Smile a geek. 
at the elbow Lee here's Bowman no good on the triple Raptor shooting pretty good tonight at 48 percent Thomas passes to Siakam Brent when constructing a team it's always tricky to, to fit in max contracts but the truth is some players probably deserve much more money than they're allowed to receive incredible to say that right it Kevin? Is, yeah. but, but there are guys like LeBron James who's 35 worth, million right. dollar contract might be worth a hundred I was thought about, about Jordan too right I mean my goodness yeah it's ridiculous and for the, the years that Michael Jordan was uh, underpaid in Chicago yes. for what it was he was doing uh, but in terms of competitive balance for the league in 30 franchises and for you to try to to build a team and a roster to put out on the floor to to play this game and have opportunities to win championships uh, it's it's really the only way and sometimes unfairly for guys in terms of their competition and compensation uh, to, to have to put uh, maximums on what it is that players can earn smile a geach. good that's the kind of passing you want there work the ball around keep it moving try to get an assist on every bucket Outside Thomas, right wing. Now, here's Siakam. He's guarded close. That shot off. Warriors have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And it's good, two points. A good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Knocked loose. Hernandez passes to McCaw. Banked in off the glass. McCaw has got his first bucket in this one. Player salary is obviously a large investment, Brent. What are some other investments that owners can make to help their team get better, either on the floor or off? Massive one, uh, Kevin, obviously, is in terms of your, your players' wellness and what it is that you're doing with your physical therapy staff, your strength and conditioning staff, because you want these guys available at the best and maximum potential physically that they can give you. A lot of teams, quite frankly, in the past couple of seasons, Kevin, looking into other ways, holistic therapies, mental approach that they can... Uh, have mental wellness for their players as part of their programming so teams that think you build some beautiful practice facility and just let the guys go bounce the ball around and shoot are, are absolutely missing it, right? yes. yeah they're missing the boat on what it is that their players require need time out, time out. and need to be complete as people now he's going to punish you kevin if you leave him open he's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it and the raptors call time here And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Now Van Vliet. Left side Lowry. Gasol inside. Looney on him. And again, no good by Toronto. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Wiggins, and he converts the layup. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Raptors leading by 20. Loads it up there for Siakam. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Passes it to Looney, and Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That's his third foul of the game. You know, Brent, something uh, other major sports do, receding during the playoffs. So the highest seeds always will play the lowest seeds. And uh, do you think the NBA should go down that road? I think the consideration will still be there. I think that conversation is going to happen over the course of the next two or three years. I don't see it changing in that time, Kevin. But it's, it's healthy to continue the dialogue to the point where maybe we do get there. Mm -hmm. Warriors trail by 20. Thompson surveying the floor. 
pass to Kirk. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist on the night. Three triples in the first half, three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Van Vliet kicks to Ananobi. Siakam inside. Covered by Chris. Siakam, good. What well, a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Thompson outside. Back to Curry. Higgins outside. And another three for Golden State. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for Toronto. 16-point lead. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. And that will be the fourth of the string of five played on the road. Siakam kicks to Lowry. And he's way off from outside. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it. But it just has not been there for him tonight. You, you might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Siakam against Curry. To the right side. Right side, Lowry. Back to Siakam. Six on the shot clock. Misses in close. Warriors trail by 16. Takes the 13-footer. Out to Chris. This all against Curry. The pass to Looney. Shoots over Van Vliet. That one off the back iron and out. Raptors leading by 16. That falls. Nice speed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got his eighth assist in the game. The Warriors have gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. He misses the free throw. And the second free throw, good. Golden State's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Curry passes to Looney. Chris with it. Just five on the clock. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Siakam. Marquise Chris has potential oozing from his fingertips. So exciting and so athletic at that four spot. Good on both. That'll be a five-second call. Yeah, a fourth turnover there. That's just a, a rough, sloppy game. At the top of the key, Curry. Thompson outside. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Lowry kicks to Gasol. Pass to Van Vliet. Lock at six. Back to Ananobi. Drops in the tray. Ananobi has got four this quarter. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. 
Here's Wiggins. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. And he can't get the first one. And he ends up missing both free throws. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Siaka misses. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. It's stolen by Curry. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by the Raptors. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. Inside and stolen by Wiggins. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. Count that one. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. Now getting down the floor quickly, this is a huge part of the offensive attack that this team deploys, and Steph was wide open. This all no good. Warriors trail by 15. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. And for Steph Curry, certainly one of the best to ever play. Iguodala said last season, uh, Brent, that he's already the second best point guard to ever play in pro basketball. Well, high praise from Andre Iguodala, and, and why wouldn't you talk about Steph that way? You tally up MVPs and titles and his impact on the game and what he's done to change the, the way the game is played. The case for Steph Curry to be the top point guard ever is getting stronger and stronger every season. The guy that he's going to have to knock off the top of that shelf, I think, for most everybody who's been basketball fans for a long time is one Magic Johnson. And the Raptors call time here. And starting to send guys to the line way more than they need to. Let's get some good position defense going here. That should be the emphasis and get away from the sloppy fouls. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Pascal Siakam. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight. Because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys. During the last timeout, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. He said, keep grinding. We're in good shape. Things aren't always going to go perfectly. Don't let that slow you down. Let's just stick to what got us here. Kevin will see if they can build on this lead. And here's Wiggins, Thompson. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Van Vliet passes to Siakam. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Thompson. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Great game for him. Double, double down. 10 points and 20 rebounds. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. To the inside. Here's Siakam. It's tipped. That's some good use of the length right there from Marquise Chris. Reaching out and swatting that one away. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Here's Siakam, and Siakam throws it down. 
And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for Toronto. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And so the hard work and effort paying off tonight, putting another win in the books. That'll be win number 27. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Pascal Siakam. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastating. Lowry for three, knocks down the three ball. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but once they broke through that barrier, it was all them, complete control. The shot by Curry, no good. Boy, I'd love to see him just get a smidge closer to the basket. Once he sees a few shots go in from there, that might open up everything from distance. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That'll be foul number five on him, and due to the bonus, we'll be headed to the free throw line. And that was the last thing they needed. Now the clock is stopped, and they put them on the line. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And Toronto has possession. It's a 10-point game. Now, here's Thomas. From deep three-point range, no good. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kyle, you did it at both ends tonight. How would you assess your own game? I just want to stop the basket, you know. I want to do anything it takes to win, you know, help my team win. You know, tonight, you know, it was passing the ball. Not, my shot wasn't falling, but, you know, I had too many turnovers, but I passed the ball well, and we got the win. That's all that matters. Great job tonight, Kyle. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. So long.